Hello and welcome to RimWorld. I'm Acretio. Let's continue this gameplay and see what happens. So, yeah, we have our three people. Trudy is apparently sleeping and Eddie is building walls. Why don't you complete one room, Eddie, please? Oh well, let you rest. I think that's that's fine. Of course you should rest. But couldn't you complete one com one whole room at a time? Let's see, we do have alpacas. Let's actually go a little bit slow. Female, age 3, I want to tame that one. Age 8, no. Age 7, no. Male, eight, age 8, maybe. Male, age 4, yes, I want to tame... One male and one female. Uh, the alpacas are good for, well, for food as well, of course, but for two other things. Let's see. We have more alpacas here. Another female? Yeah, why not? Um, do I want yet another one? No, but I want that one instead of that. So cancel that. That way... We get three alpacas, two are female, and by getting them, we gain two things. Well, first of all, we have two females and one male, and that means that we will get alpaca kids. I don't know what they are called, meaning that we will get more and more alpacas. But it's also important for the... Uh, for the wool. The alpaca wool is really good to make warm clothes. And we are in a climate where we actually need that. Oh, talking about that. Oh, hello Trudy. Are you up and running? <coughs> yeah, talking about clothes. Maybe we should start some... Uh, some cotton growing as well let's see I think something like that this might not be that's normal soil and there we go with rich soil okay so let's actually shrink it like this soil rich soil okay expand it up there. There we go. And you, please prioritize that one. And then please prioritize doing these things. What is that? That's a wooden wall. Oh, why didn't I put in... Uh, yeah, why didn't I put in some... Let's cancel that. I should put in some vents one there let's go again and one there I think that seems fair then all three of the rooms will have approximately the same temperature Trudy can't you prioritize no you can't or I don't know how to set it up to prioritize the planting well I do know how to do it over here but I don't want to do that I guess who is handling? It's postman. Okay, you're handling and then researching. So when you get up, you will start to to uh, get animals into our our uh, colony, and then you will continue the research. Mardi Gras is sleeping outside don't really like that, so let's add some animal sleeping spots. Need defense sleep, need meal source, yeah. If we do that, we have 10 spots for animal. Yeah, need meal source, I totally agree. We have no way of preparing proper meals from raw food. Build a stove, campfire or nutrient dispenser. It cannot be a crisp. Cannot be in a prison cell, otherwise colonists cannot use it. 
Maybe, yeah, that's true. We wanted to wait with that. So let's cancel uh, taming all of these to make sure that Postman will do research first and only until that's finished. And we are almost fully rested. Good. Okay, what is Eddie doing? Oh, Eddie is playing horseshoes. That's great. And you go, you need some food. Of course, you should have some food. Oh, we should, we should set up a table as well. Let's build this first. Then we can place a table like over here, I think. Um, and once we have that, we are in a good spot. Okay, Eddie. So you are doing everything right, I hope. But there is a few more spots that I need you to build. Oh, let's speed up the game a bit. We have a roof. There we go. Oh yeah, we want to actually build these... Uh, Vents. Unless we build them, there's no good way of separating. Okay, uh, let's move this bed. Let's move it. Oh, not like that. Let's move it to. Oh, let's move it to by the uh, by the vent, and this one. We move by that vent, and this one we move to be by not that vent, but over here. Actually, this one, cancel that. We want this one to be placed over here, cancel that as well. We want this one to be placed over there. There we go. Then it's in good spots, I think. Need colonist beds? Yes, we are fixing it. Eddie is setting them up. So that will be done and ready in no time. Meals? We don't have enough. Uh, yeah, that's just how it is right now. Truly. Cargo pods. Let's see what we get. Get a bit of hyperweave. Let's get Eddie to get the hyperweave. Always nice to get these kind of things pretty, pretty fast. Otherwise, we risk not getting all of it. What are you doing? You're harvesting. Great. I think. Where do you place the hat? Wait, what? Oh! Oh! This is a stockpile zone. Oops. That's not what I meant to build. That's why nothing happened. So I want a growing zone. Like that. And then we go with shrink zone. And this should be the normal soil, yes. And this should be cotton plant. Yay! There we go. Hyperweave. Actually, we have a bit more uh, space over here. So let's make another stockpile zone over here. And this will be low priority, but it will be able to handle everything else everything that we don't currently handle and we transport the hyperweave into this area oh trudy 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 you're so nice but please grab and hold the berries while you go back anyway and these ones as well please hopefully you will go no okay these ones 
There we go. That's what I wanted. These ones hold those. And either she will get all of them or she would go close enough that she could, could get all of them next time. Great. There we go. Oh, we have a cougar. Should we hunt the cougar? I mean, the cougar is kind of dangerous. Well, it's not kind of dangerous. It's really dangerous. But should we hunt it? Who is the hunter? It's Eddie. And Trudy have the knife. Hmm. I just think that if the cougar gets too close, it could be dangerous. Let's see if it gets closer. If it gets much closer, yes, then we will hunt it. But right now we don't have to. What's that? Marble chunk? I'm just a bit uh, worried that Mardi Gras will be, will be hunted and killed, and then everyone will get sad. I don't really like that idea. Okay, so Eddie is collecting all of the wood now, which is good. But maybe he should actually be creating a table. Let's see. Oh, we could go with normal speed. Should we have a 3x3 three three table? I think we should have a 3x3 three three table like that. And then we have chairs like this. And yes, we have way more chests than we are going to use right now at least. Kugo did go away, it seems. Good. So we don't have to hunt it right now. The research is not going strong. It's going, but not as strong as we want it to. Oh. You're prioritizing that chair. Instead of the table. Well, you're prioritizing the chair instead of the table. I could understand it, but I don't agree. So, once you have created that chair, I will manually prioritize the table for you. Oh, and you go rest. Maybe, just maybe, this one should be for Trudy. This one should be for Postman. And this one should be for Eddie. Oh, didn't mean for you to sleep on the ground. You don't have to do that. Just wanted to change to have Trudy that handle plants. Have a door close to the plants. Eddie that builds close to where we are building. And the postman close to the research. I should have thought about it myself before starting to, uh, before setting everything up and all of that, but eh, I didn't. And yeah, look how quickly Postman got to bed. That's basically what I wanted to see. And Mardi Gras is sleeping over there. Nice. We need defenses. Pirate raids will start soon. Inspired creat creativity. The next item art or furniture she creates will be two quality levels higher than it would otherwise be. This even allows the creation of legendary items. The inspiration will end after eight days or when the creation is complete. Okay, so how good is she really? Or how good is she normally? Oh, well, crafting, that's... Weapons, components, refined resources. 
I think that's included in the creativity, but uh, maybe not that we will. Maybe that's not what we want. I think we will prioritize the table and see maybe that will become a great table from her. Oh, um, wait, how do I disable quality builder? I want you to create that table, Trudy, please. It says she's holding for dining chair, that's why I wanted her to prioritize the table. Oh, Trudy is not a what? Trudy. Prioritizing wood table, yes, please. Hopefully that will be a great wooden table. If she were uh, a bit better at art, I would have built a sculpture table and then uh, she could have made a sculpture. But the table I think is fine enough. Yes, it's an excellent table. Room outdoors, but yeah, that means that we got to use her uh, creativity. And you always want to use that. If you can, make sure to use the creativity. I mean, why shouldn't you? Okay, since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Postman thinks that you should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? Let's take a minute. Postman thinks that you should give your faction a name. Postman is sleeping. How does he communicate that when he's sleeping? Is he sleep talking? How does he even know what he wants? Okay, but let's not worry about that. So, the faction, let's randomize it until we find something good. Lone un Unification, no. Northwest Left, no. Nope. Fun Power. League of Northwest Hero, no, thank you. Northeast. Resident, no. Mm, nah. Columba, no. No, no. No. Binus, yeah, no. Bettini, yeah, that sounds, that sounds okay. It sounds like crap, but that sounds okay. Postman also thinks that you should give this settlement a name. What should this local settlement, settlement be called? Um, Congos, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we are Bettini and this settlement is Congos. Great! Now we know what we are, and where we are, and everything. Nice! And Postman is researching again. Good Postman. That's what we want to see. Oh yeah, and Eddie is creating uh, chairs. Loads of them. We should get a production building up. A butcher table, I think. A butcher. Oh, the food will be here, so that should be uh, should be a stove. So a butcher table over there. Yes, you will. Oh yeah, the butcher table can use a tool cabinet. I forgot about that. I don't think we'll use it, but we might be. Uh, but I do want to use a chair. And Eddie have some more stuff to do. Food, what are you doing? Oh, hauling wood. So there's no more. There's no more uh, planting to do. That's good. It really is. And you get to eat by a table. Really nice. Could you help out with something else, Trudy, maybe? Hmm. We are kind of waiting for Postman to get everything sorted. 
But I think we could do some power conduits. Like that one. We need to build it anyway. And we can as well do it before Postman finishes. I mean, maybe we should build it up here, but eh, we're not doing that. And Trudy is going to bed. Oh, you should click those, otherwise they just stay. Let's see, how much food do we have? Well, we should open the food stuff over here, and that one, and not that one, but yeah, that one I think it is. So we have 32 food, and we have 70, uh, 70 uncooked food, so we are in a pretty decent state right now. Eddie is building conduits and going to bed, I guess. Yes. So my idea is that as soon as the conduits are ready, we will continue to building this room or this building. And then we have the whole, the whole first building. Well, this is technically the first or second and this is the first. Then we have another building built, and the whole food stuff is finished. Okay, maybe we should, oh, we need some more speed, I think. Maybe we should make sure to get another uh, door over here. And then I'm thinking that over here we want to have production. And I forgot to bring up my uh, my. Uh, oh, what are you doing? You're holding. Okay. I forgot to bring up my sheet of what stuff we are supposed to do. So that have to be done later on. But we are supposed to have a lot of things over here. Something like that. And I'm not building the doors because we want the outer doors. Oh, but we have to research those. Let's see. Let's see how we do that. For now, we might be able to place uh, to place the finished food in here as well. And then we will have everything in a nice cold place. And then we can wait with the outer doors for a while. Oh yeah. So Eddie, you're working even though, well, Postman is sleeping and it's really rainy. Damn it. What are you doing now? Meditating, yeah. That's nice, I guess. We could get that tree removed and we could see... Where's Trudy? Oh, you're holding. Isn't there anything else? Well, there is other things you could do. That have to do with the meals. But maybe you shouldn't. Actually, what I will do, I will cancel all of these. Uh, deconstruct them. Nope, that's the wrong button. All of the animal sleeping spots. We still want our animals over there. But let's move them over here for now. Okay, and then we go for stock pile. So, oh, deconstruct that, please. Expand this zone, and this should be for food. And for right now, let's have all of the food over here. And we have this one, which shouldn't be for food. So let's remove the food from that one. That way we have the food closer to both everyone when they are sleeping and to the table. Whoops. Eclipse. Yeah, the eclipse. Well, they make people a little bit moody, 
but it's not too bad. I think the worst thing is if you use solar panels, then you won't get any power from them, but you're not using those right now, so that's kind of fine. How long before these spoils? 12 days, 12 days, that's fine. Plenty of time. And the research is going kind of fine, I think. Hmm. The question is, should we continue with building this room as well? And I think that yes, yes we should. So let's go. We might on the right the right side we might create some more doors eventually but for now it's fine and all of those and we want to cut down all of these trees where do we store the stones over here, I guess. Storage. Chunks. Yeah, exactly. So we have that set up. Oh, actually, let's haul these ones as well. All of the steel chunks we could haul. Okay, postman, are you happy? Please be. Yeah, you're really happy. Eddie not that happy, animal disease, and Grunt is not that happy. Let's see what this is. One of your animals have gotten sick from plague. Make sure that they get proper treatment and rest as much as possible. And the following animals have gotten sick, Mardi Gras. Let's see, who is our doctor? That's Eddie. So Eddie, what are you doing? Go hauling. Let's... Finish that, and as soon as you have finished, yeah, you will be tending to Mardi Gras by yourself. You don't need us to tell you. And they will use the herbal medicine for, for the animals. But we don't have that much, and if it's got a plague, maybe we want to harvest some more wild hill root. That's not finished. That's ready to harvest. Almost ready to harvest. Oh, over here I think we have one more, yeah. And here we might have that one. And another one over there. There we go. Now we don't need any more. We have what we need right now at least. So if you do that, and then I actually will ask from you to haul it. Yes, it's a lot of running around. But oh, maybe we should change it to have medicine as well over here. Where's the medicine? Manufacturing medicine, yeah. Let's do that and let's get it removed from over here. Prioritize holding medicine. Oh, and we have another one over here. I mean, they, they last for quite a long time, so it's not a big deal. You will you hauling wood. That's that's good, I guess. And Trudy is getting stuff as well. So everyone is working at least. Where did postman go? Oh, eating. That sounds like a fair fair thing to do. Definitely. Oh, let's hold that. And let's hold that granite chunk. I miss those. 
Let's actually hold those free as well. This one. Oh, how was that, please? And we just go. Maybe we should start looking at some defense. Problem is that over here it's so open that it's really hard with, hard with the defense. And I don't really know how to start. Well, we do have kind of walls and chunks. So we have chunks that can stand behind over here, over here. Not over here really. Well, we have these. We have kind of defense. Not really good defense, but kind of defense. Trudy, what are you? You're holding. That's great. Great, great. Whoop. Eclipse is ending. I just saw the light changing and got word. That's great. All of the meeting at the same time. Yay. How many meals? 22 more meals. Plus 70 berries. I'm thinking, is this enough so that they can survive until the research is done? Either way, let's build... Uh, let's build a fuel stove. No, let's build an electrical stove. There we go. And we want another chair. This is in the right spot, close to the door and close to this, so that's perfect, that spot. Oh, we should probably harvest those bushes as well. We can't use them for anything else since they are basically indoors. We, we can cut these bushes, but not the big ones, it seems. That's fair. Oh, so you are... You're cleaning. Feeding package survival meal tomorrow. Oh, maybe we should... Uh, well, I don't know how to handle Mardi Gras, but maybe we should start getting some more food for the animals. But where? Oh, over here is fine. And this is hay grass. Yes. What are you doing, Trader? Trudy, you're resting, that's fine. Of course you should be resting. So the thing is, this is probably connected to the to the oh to the power over there. Yes it is. Or to the power conduit at least. And once we get a steam uh, whatever it's called. What is it called? Geothermal power over here. Then this is powered automatically. And I think we have someone. Yes, Trude will be cooking when that happens. But we have to wait as long as we can. Oh, we could set up some bills in the meantime. We want to batch a cre creature. Uh, Forever and how is it? We have nine, one, and one. Okay, so I guess we don't really care about who does it. And no human like corpses, only animal corpses. That's fine. Okay, and we want to set up cook. Fine meal and cook simple meal. The fine meal we want to cook until we have 
let's say 40. Uh, wait. Oh, do until you have 30. And then we pause until we... What? 30, and then we pause until we have 20. So when we have 20, we do 10 more. And this is a worker from skill 8 and up. Otherwise, it's kind of a problem. It might be at least. Um, yeah, that's that. And then we have the simple meal, which we do until we have 10 and no pausing. And that we do only from vegetarian stuff. No meat, no animal products. That way, even if we are missing meat, we can always do the, uh, the vegetarian stuff. Or the simple meals. And we have to see if we can actually wait with with preparing food until we have the fuel stove. I'm not sure. Uh, until we have, not fuel stove, that's the one we have now. Eddie, going for a walk. Not until we have the fuel stove. We have the fuel stove. I mean, until we have the... Uh, until we have the electric stove. all of the electricity up and running so my idea is that when enemies attack they have to run through this area because it's a lot of mud and I think they run slower through that area and that would give us extra time to shoot at them. And we can shoot at them from both from two sides. And they have to run in the middle more or less. They can run like over here as well. But we have to make sure that that's really, uh, really not the way they want to go. Eddie, are you resting? No, holy. Okay. Nice. Nice, Eddie. Let's see, work. You will clean up. So we will get everything cleaned up automatically. Great. 15 meals. And 11 days and 13 days. Yeah, we might want a bit more berries. Let's see. Oh! Spoils soon enough. Let's allow that and let's harvest. 95. Uh, maybe cancel that. I thought most of these would be finished. Okay, let's wait with those. Even that one that's finished, then we can grab all of it at the same time. Oh, those aren't really ready to go. That we can harvest and... What are you saying? New lovers? Nice! That can be harvested. And that can be harvested. I think that's fine. Who are... Postman and Trudy. Postman tried to romance Trudy by making an observation about helping the poor. Trudy was attracted and is now Postman's lover. Postman and Trudy now want to sleep together. Consider assigning them a double bed. Yeah, so we need to create a double bed, I guess. Which I'm happy to create. A double bed. Let's just place it over here to start with. Holding bird skin. Oh yeah, so you... Okay, this will, of course deteriorate before we can use it but the good thing is that we got a bit of bird skin and we got stuff done Eddie is building a double bed and then we will move it into this bedroom 
and have that and I drew him four postmen and Trudy. Okay, so that uh, actually no. Store it. And this one. Okay. Consume that please. And then uninstall that. And then we place this bed over there. And this is now assigned to Eddie. And this is assigned to Trudy and Postman. Great. So we actually have this set up nicely and we have an extra bed we do an extra bedroom that could be used for anything a prison could be used for hospital it could be used for anything we need it to or if we get another person what do you oh holding berries okay do we have any more berries that then that we could harvest that one seems to be okay that's okay and that's okay those are not really finished yet that's fine and that's fine okay i think we have enough berries for now 100 berries that seems to be okay but only 13 meals so we will not have enough meals not at all let's expand this zone a bit just a little bit oh yeah Mardi Gras will hopefully use how's the health developed immunity that's great Mardi Gras will hopefully grab meat now to eat and not package survival survival meals that's that we really need for the humans Trudy is hauling and then go to bed okay so if this is oh maybe we should harvest that and that and that and not that i wasn't aware of those and we can harvest that one and that one as well and true they have something to do and no you holding berries i think that we have to do something else we need something to do but what could we do right now well we could plan the next building Let's hope this doesn't disturb the recording. I'm basically opening my sketch of what I want. There we go. So if we do it like this, we have... Mm, orders. There we go. We want one, two, three, fifteen, 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 and fifteen. And I think we want people to work over here. So we have a two gap. We want walls over here as well. This is the working area, and this is some storage area. But I want to. Uh, I want to get that separated from the working area 
since they tend to think it's quite ugly. I tend to agree. But if they work over the... Oh, we should probably haul those and haul those. So if we get that running, then we need to have doors. And the idea is that I guess we want two doors over here. Do we? Stop. Heat wave. No. An unusual heat wave has begun. Heat waves can kill quickly if people start getting heat strokes. Stay cool by building a cooler or getting deep under a mountain. Okay. So that's it. We can't wait for this research. We need to get uh, to get the coolers working right now. So let's get. Uh, where do I find the power? Let's get the wind turbine built. I think this way. That seems to be okay. Let's build that and Eddie will get right on it and it will be really hot here so we need to get that built. But in the meantime I want to plan this a little bit better and I have to keep an eye on the temperature of course. So what I think we want here is Opening over here, we want an opening over here, and with opening, I mean a door. Uh, and one, two, three, a door over there. Or do we want. Mm. Yeah, I think we want that. Yes, we are leaving over here. Maybe we will actually get that. Get the wall over there and the door over here instead. Let's figure that out in a while. But right now this seems to be okay. And then we want... We have a door over there. We need one over there and one over there. And this door we need not a door over here. Or do we? Hmm... No, we actually want it over here instead. And I guess a door over here. On this side, no. I don't see a reason for having doors on this side. Not yet, at least. Yeah, I know about the heat wave. I also know that we have to keep, keep track of our people. Holding component. Okay, we need two components and then we are ready to go. So we need to keep track of our people, of their health, because they can get heat strokes. And it starts off easy and then it gets really bad. And we need some more power stuff. We need power conduits. I think over there. Yeah, that should be all the way over there I guess. Of course it's not there's no wind right now. Let's turn that off and turn these ones on and set them up. 21. No thank you. We want it to be like minus 3 minus 5 and Minus seven. I'm using different temperatures because then this will um, this will not be used all of the time. This will be used some of the time, and this will be running more or less constantly. But that makes it a little bit more efficient, I think. Let's see. Can we chop any more wood in this? 
general area, yes, but not in a good way. Okay, so Trudy is doing a great job, and Eddie as well. Oh, but how are they when it comes to the health? Heat stroke initial, yes, I need to see temperatures. Hmm. The problem is that we can't do anything until the wind starts blowing. Oh, we can. We should. We should get rid of all of the trees that's in the way of of the this wind turbine. Because that will will cause major problems. Let's see. Eddie, can you cut the tree? Why aren't you assigned to uh, plant cutting? Well, I know why. Well, there you are. Plant cut. Four. Yes. Please. Cut that. Trudy. Please cut that. And then that might be kind of the problems. Well, why we are not getting any any uh, power apart from that i think they finished the power lines power, power conduits yeah looks like it Yes, I'm sorry, but we need these trees to be cut. Trudy, that one as well. And then we are finished. Now you can do what you want. And this one is not blocked anymore. Grid access, store, yeah. Wait, it doesn't connect. It actually doesn't. I was a bit afraid that would happen. You see, it's not connecting over here, so I guess we have to put one line over there. You please prioritize working on that. And I don't really care about hauling. Not since we really needed this to get up to make sure that not all of our people get heat strokes. Well, they already have, technically. They shouldn't get worse heat strokes than they have. Okay, so if we look at the power conduits, it's not connected. What? Good access, 92 watts. Oh, is it that this... Oh, it requires 200. So, just 92 isn't enough to power it. Whoops. Let's look at the health. Minor heat stroke, minor heat stroke, and initial heat stroke. Yeah. Well, at least it's night time now. And it's like 43 degrees. Hmm. Maybe they should sleep outside instead. Oh well. Oh. Yeah, we can... Uh, let's get the colors away. Let's shrink that. Oh. This one we want to expand. That's the reason I started with this, because we have a lot of wood that we can't store anywhere. But we should start building this as well. So let's start uh, order the wooden walls. this oh I think that should cancel that one and make a 
the door over there as well. Then Eddie have something to do, yay. And we can get rid of all of these trees as well. Anything? Yeah, something like that. And I guess that tree and those as well. How output 8000 and all of that is... What? I don't get this. I do not understand how this works. Uh, if we look at the power. It's not connected, but it should be, shouldn't it? Eddie, please prioritize this. Because as soon as we manage to connect it, we will get these free coolers to work and we could fight against the heat stroke. But until we get connected, we can't do anything. Why doesn't it connect? Okay, let's do something completely different. We start over here, we go over there, we go over here, and we don't do anything else. Eddie, please build those things. Oh, we could probably cut that as well. Okay, does this connect? No! Why doesn't it connect? I don't understand this. Oh, wait. Is it that I haven't... Identical thing already exists. Yeah. I've never seen before that they don't connect. That's the thing. Hmm, let's see what internet have to say. that page oh this may be poor conduits not linking up This is kind of what I'm getting. Nah, that's a bug that they have fixed, so it's not that problem. I don't know. Guess we have to wait until we get our uh, geothermal power. The thing is that I have succeeded in building it before, so it's something strange. Minor heat stroke, minor heat stroke, minor heat stroke. Yeah, that's too bad. I 
can't, unfortunately, I can't help you at all. Oh, that we can cut on as well. And I guess those two. What? Turkey meat have, has rotted away, that's fine. And there's nothing left, which is great because that means that we don't have uh, to handle a lot of waste if that happens. Yeah. So what about the heat? 39 degrees everywhere inside and outside hotter than that what are you doing Trudy oh you're moving the wood around that's true this will take wood as well so we didn't have to change the areas in inside that building And Eddie is working hard to get as much ready as possible. And Trudy is hauling all of the wood she has cut on. Postman is researching and doing a great job at it, by the way. And we only have one meal left. I don't know if this will work or not. But we should soon have potatoes. 61% grown. It's not that we need it right now, so it's not, not a problem at all. How many berries do we have and how long before they spoil? They have plenty of time before they spoil, that's fine. Okay, so all of this have been built and we are just holding. Minor break risk, Eddie, why? Serious heat stroke, okay. Serious pain because of the heat stroke, of course. Um, let's see, 48, it's 49 outside. So maybe you should kind of go over here Trudy serious pain yeah you also should go over here postman hot but only minor heat stroke probably because you have been working inside oh and now all of a sudden Temperature outside goes down, and we should all go outside because that's it's cooler outside. So let's stay outside and hope for the best. Why doesn't this connect? Wait, did we really? Oh! These are too far away from this power line. We need more, uh, more power conduits. Okay, you please, no. Please prioritize working on that. I'm sorry, I need to get you to work on that. But that's what will save all of you. So it was my problem. It wasn't something with the game. <laughs> well, it's good that it uh, that the game does work as it should. Yes, I'm sorry, but you need to do this. Mm, 
reconnect. Reconnect and reconnect. Now they should all be connected, I think. Let's see. Yeah, they're all connected. Oh, but now it's not windy anymore. 35, 25 outside, so let's go outside. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh no, no, no. You please stay outside. The heat wave is over. Yes, but to what cost? Health, serious heat stroke, initial heat stroke for those two. Eddie, have it way worse. And now we get a little bit of power in there. Yeah, there we go. Now we should move them all in here. Since we have uh, way cooler in here. Have to see. Initial heat stroke, initial heat stroke, and initial heat stroke. And what about the needs? Well, they all need food and rest. Maybe we just say that that's fine. They can do whatever they want now. Except that we don't have any more food. Well, one more package. But yeah, that's about it. Whew. At least we survived the... Uh, The heat. Uh, we survived the heat. That's the best we can say about it. And yes. Now people will start eating vegetables instead. So we have to find out if there are any more berries that we can harvest. So harvest that please. And that, and I think this is ready, that is not, this, oh, I thought that was those, there's a bear over there, okay, oh, this is cake, no, let's just leave it, what about that, nope, nope, harvest that, harvest that, and harvest that. Great, so we are trying to harvest whatever we can find to get some food. How are the people now? No health conditions. Great. And did they get any ugly environmental darkness and awful bedroom? Yes, that's fine. Okay. So, Eddie, yeah, you're not that happy, but it's fine. Actually, Postman and Trudy should have this smaller bedroom. Since they have each other, they are a bit more happy without having a big fancy uh, bedroom. Ancient danger. Jump to location. Oh, yeah, this is danger. Let's not do anything with that, unless we have to, or until we have to, maybe. You please hold those. And please hold those. That should get you to hold all of it, yes. Unfortunately, they are kind of done in that sense. They can walk right past what they are already holding without Realizing that they could grab that as well. But I guess that's the way it is. You can't do much about it. Oh, this is nice. We have an, another big area where we could grow crops. Oh, can they construct that? And that. Then, and... Oh, here. Then Eddie will have something to do. Great. 
I think Trudy have enough to do already. Postman definitely have enough to do. But Eddie, yeah, we need to do something for him. Could we get... Oh, we could get a stone cutter's table up. We want to hold the components before they start to deteriorate. Right, stone cutter's table. We want it over here, of course. But where? Well, we can always move it later. I think over there. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, it's outdoors. I know it's outdoors. That's fine. There's Eddie. There's Eddie. The reason we want the stone cutters table is that if we get that then uh, we can start cutting stone and how we can use that is mm, steel chunks stone chunks i guess then we can use the stone to uh, uh, we can use the stone to build defenses. Let's see, what kind of stone do we have? Marble, granite, oh yeah, granite, that's what we want. This should actually only be granite chunks. Okay, and we should shrink it a bit. Like that, and oh, let's continue to do... And then we have another dumping stop pile zone that we connect to the other one, which clear all. And then we don't have chunks, but we have the uh, we want the stone blo blocks, the granite blocks. That way we can set up this stone cutters table to grab granite and. This should be pretty high, that should be, well, it should actually be normal. It's not any more important than any of the other stuff, but this one shouldn't accept granite anymore. This should be priority low, that's what it should be, yeah. So then we can get granite chunks handled, and once, wait, where did Eddie go? Once we get granite chunks, we can use that to build to build a wall. Where's Eddie? Oh, you're, you're sneaky, Eddie. Going out here and... Okay. You're holding the component. Great. Postman. Do you have any health problems? Yeah, it's too cold for you. I could see why. In here it's minus five. The good thing is that the food doesn't deteriorate. The good thing with that, that I forgot about, is that we could start hunting. But let's, con let's build this. Stone cutters table first. What are you doing, Eddie? Oh, relaxing. Yeah, that, that's that's fair enough, I think. Trudy, please relax. Take it easy. Consume some berries. Postman playing horse shows. Great. You understand? It's not just about work all of all of the time. Low food, yes. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. We have still have a fair amount, I think. But we should get well once Eddie have uh, built the stone cutters table. We should actually see who can do stone cutting. That's not. Oh yeah, it's crafting. 
Trudy could do it, 10, and Eddie could do it with uh, 7. But then we want Eddie to do some hunting, I think. Oh, but we can use the wildlife map for that. Grizzly bear and the cougar. That's postman. There we go. Go to bed. Take it easy. And we fast forward mm. to the next day. Summer. Summer has begun, but winter is coming. Your food crops won't grow in the winter cold. Oh, yeah, that's true. Be sure to store enough food to survive. Can build a walk-in refrigerator to prevent food from spoiling. Buy steel or made, make some parkas or you'll freeze when you uh, step outside. Yeah, I haven't thought that much about clothing. Oh, and we need to heat the bedrooms up as well. Right now we have... Well, right now they are at the perfect temperature. But once it's... Oh, wait. Wait a minute. We might want to reinstall that over here. Reinstall it over there. And reinstall that over there. And Eddie, please prioritize this. Just to make sure that Postman doesn't freeze too much. Please prioritize this. And then you can build the stone cutters table. I really like that you want to do it. Oh, do you have any problems with it being cold? No. Okay. Eddie, great. And Trudy, great. Okay, so I guess that Trudy can work with uh, crafting. She's, she's the better one of them. And she is not a hunter. So we want to have a bill. Add bill, make granite blocks. And do until you have... Can we move that? No, we can't. Do until you have uh, 400. That's fine. And we don't want to look everywhere. We want to look... What stockpile is that? That's dumping stockpile 2. We want to go for what? Isn't that what it should be? Dumping stockpile zone two, and we are storing granite chunks. So What? Take two dumping stockpiles on free, that's fine. But I don't understand this. It could be anywhere, anyone. And we want to pause until we have 200. So we do some, we pause, we do some more, we pause. That's what we want. But where is it? Oh, ingre ingredient radius. radius. We can just do that instead of selecting the st stockpile. Then we get kind of what we want. Okay. So truly, hauling to dumping stockpile zone 2, and then cutting stone block from chunk, yes, 
and Eddie will deconstruct the last ship chunk. Great. And once that's done, oh, you grabbed that, which is what I wanted you to do. We have a look at the wildlife and see what do we want to hunt. I guess we want to hunt a few does and a buck. They are good to hunt. They are not dangerous and give plenty of meat. Postman, are you okay? Yep, you seem to be. I think we should add, we should move our animal sleeping spots. Let's move them in here. Oh, wait, what? What happened? Squirrel paw. <laughs> Bleeding? Why are you doing those things? Oh, well. I was just about to deconstruct all of these sleeping spots. I will actually do it anyway. And you have to run somewhere else. You will be more happy over there, I think. Oh, tending to mold the grow. Yeah, that's a good choice to prioritize that. And then we will be able to expand this zone to cover this whole area. And for now that's fine. In a while we will split it up, but for now it's fine to just do it like this. And the... Oh wait. And the, why don't you just haul this one? Oh, because we can't. Okay. That's fair enough. Let's allow corpses over here. Animal corpses and mechanoid corpses. Please haul that. Oh, I just realized one thing. <laughs> we do have power. Not all of the time, but we do have power. Why not just turn this on and then we can start cooking. Whenever we have power, at least, we can, we can cook. Yes, it will be more reliable when we have our... Uh, whatever that's called. But... We can do it right now, most of the time at least. Oh, but now it's 27 degrees. Yeah, it's it's really unreliable. How are the potatoes coming along? They should soon be finished. I think we want one more dough and then we stop hunting until we have our, uh, well, until we have something more reliable. Keep, keep the food cold. You're lousy at shooting. I need batteries, that's fine, I know. I can't build any batteries because we don't have that technology yet. Low food, I know. We still have 183. So for now, it's kind of okay. Yeah, we have minus four there. All the grow is fully healed. And Trudy is making meals, yes. Good, let's get rid of that. So we are... Is Postman really there? No, 
that is. Yeah, so we are beginning to get real meals created. It takes a bit of time before we have it, true, but we get meals and that will help us a lot. Yeah, Trudy, you're, you're doing a lot of good things. Heady, you're missing everything you're aiming at, so don't aim. Seems like he's shooting a little bit at one animal and then change to another animal. And okay. Though unconscious Eddie. Prioritize that one. Because I know you can do that with like a knife or whatever it actually is. I don't know. But you can do that without any problems at least. And then we go to wildlife and say, do not hunt those two. But those two are pretty, pretty hurt. So let's finish hunting those. Okay. So Eddie, one more time you go out and you see if you can do anything actually kill something. Wait. Eddie. Prioritize something in the back. There you go. Oh yeah, the reason I'm not adding doors over here is that I want auto doors. So we have to wait a bit for that to happen. But in the meantime, well, we don't need the doors, I think. And Eddie is on it again. Trying to do some hunting. Right. Okay. No! It woke up. There you go. Okay. We are finished with the hunting for now. I think we have plenty of meat. We have more meat than we have uh, vegetables, so yes, plenty of meat. And you're good taking away the hide. Or the leather, I guess it's called. Plain leather, yeah. And what are you doing? You're hauling. Yeah, that's good. You understand how this should be uh, should be running. Okay, so it's seventy five, so it's one hundred and fifty. It's three hundred. Yeah, four hundred is kind of okay. And the best thing with the granite chunks is that we can use those directly to build walls. We don't need to uh, we don't need to do anything else. We just use the granite chunks. And we don't need to change them for anything else later on. How is it over oh, here? 93, 90, yeah. Five meals. Some berries. I think we should go on a berry hunt. We had a lot of berries. Oh, here we go. Yeah, these seem to be more or less ready to harvest all of them. So let's do that. And those, I guess. Didn't we have... Oh, here we go, yeah. More berries over here. Yes. Great. Harvest all of those as well. Not that one. 
that's not a berry. You can't harvest that. But harvest all of those. Any animal damage? Nope. If they are, that's a good sign that we have actually gotten some uh, some animal have hunted another animal, meaning that it should be great. So you're holding 75 and there's still five. A little bit too much left, but what can you do? Yeah, if some animal is hurt oh, in the wildlife, uh, normally it's the predators. If they are hurt, it's a good sign that they have hunted something in close by and that we could we could get something uh, handled. Oh, Eddie has gotten food poisoning from file, a fine meal caused at the cooking area. Okay, and you're taking a fine meal. Yeah, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Maybe do a hospital bed of this. So if you go over there with a the granite chunk. I of course I have to. Wait, what? Food. Oh yeah, you can't do anything about food poisoning. I forgot about that. Just have to wait it out. And in the meantime, he will be in serious pain and get problems with mood and with consciousness and moving and all of that. So, yeah, can only wait. Well, you could send him to bed i guess as i started to say before the amount the, the size of these dumping stockpiles we have to fix that when we get to it right now i just have something you please please rest until healed no you can't even do that so okay don't then don't We should really get some flow. Oh yeah, could actually do that. Get some. No, we can't. We don't have any sterile flooring yet. We should get some sterile flooring in inside this area. Yeah, I understand you, Eddie. Can't help it. Yeah, it seems like. We have cotton soon enough. We have a bit of potato as well. And Trudy is preparing as much food as she possibly can. Postman, you're working on other stuff. And the research is halfway done, I would say. Eddie, yeah, you can see this is full speed. He's walking really slowly. Eddie. Major food poisoning. Intense pain. Yeah, I know. Meditating. I think that's a really good idea, to be honest. Oh yeah, maybe we want some lights. This we want to get rid of. Maybe we want to get some lights placed. Need batteries? Yes, we do. Let's see. Could get. Yeah, something like that. That will work. Yeah, I'm sorry, Adi can't do anything about the food poisoning, I think. Prioritizing cleaning vomit. Yeah, but I can't really do anything, anything about the cause of it. Yes, we want to clean it up, of course. Oh, by the way. Minor break risk. Yeah, I know. Can't do anything about it. We want all of them 
to use industrial tech medicine. Not the best quality medicine. Right now it doesn't make a difference, but in a while it will, when we have the best tech medicine. And it's mostly that I don't see any point in them grabbing the best possible medicine there are. Okay, we have enough meals now. Maybe we should pause that for a while. Yeah, let's pause both of these. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I thought you would complete what you had started. You please. I don't know. But maybe we should change the amount instead. Let's say we change it to... We change it to 15 and 10. Then we have a good amount, I think. Food poisoning major. Oh no. Eating times 30%. So yeah, it's... It's not good. Ready to harvest. These are almost fully grown. Okay. This will take a while before that. It's not that bad. Yeah, but Trudy will soon enough go and get and start harvesting and then we will have a lot of food can we set this the build to pause no we can unpause it like that but i don't think we can pause it it doesn't look like and you're harvesting. Way to go, Trudy. Should we plan for some defense as well? I think we should just continue that and continue this. And we have the granite, so let's go with granite wall over here and over there yeah let's leave it like this for now and i think further on we will just go and build around to make sure that they have to go around they have to well they could technically go around and follow but then they would be shot at so they could as well go in the middle but for now get something up that's way better than nothing and these two walls were already in a nice spot. Well, maybe, maybe we want to go down here and continue that one. That way it leads to the middle automatically. Yeah. Cancel that. So let's go with the granite wall. Like that. And like this. Oh could go all the way with that let's just go over here they still can go around and go on the inside if they want to but i don't think they would i don't think they will yes and we are building some lights yay eddie what are you going to do you're going what oh going to build that of course I just think that we need someone to clean up a bit now just don't know who it could be well maybe we get we will ask Eddie will clean when oh Eddie will hunt and construct and then clean and then haul What kind of wall is that? Granite? 
that's what we are building. This is sandstone. It's not as tough as granite, but it's way tougher than nothing. Way tougher. Oh. Of course, let's get... Let's get the trees shot down. There we go. And the tree. And I guess a few trees outside as well. And we want this whole area. We want to remove the trees. I just saw that grizzly bear. I don't like it. And we are building the wall, yay! Eddie, are you healthy again? Heat stroke initial? Well, oh, oh, we don't have any, any way of staying cold in, or staying not cold, that's not what I meant. But having a good temperature in here. So I guess that we will add cooler. Cooler in here and a heater as well. Yeah, that doesn't connect up. So let's oh power there we go. Let's make well I think two power lines. That's fine. Where did Eddie go? To cooler. Yes, that's good. Good Eddie that you prioritize this. Because then you will have a nice bedroom tonight. Otherwise you won't. If you wouldn't prioritize this. What are you doing? Holding components to cool, oh yes, that's true. Oh, and you're uh, harvesting the herbal medicine as well. The heal root, that's what they're called. A friendly AI from your past named Charles Shal Whitestone has sent you a message. He reveals that he has a starship hidden on this planet and send, sends you its world coordinates. The starship is currently in deep hibernation mode. You will have to start it up when you arrive, then defend it from raiders trying to steal it until the startup sequence complete. If you can get the ship off the ground, Charlton will take you off this rim world to the stars. Let's see what this. And the, it will take a little bit of time to generate the plan. Okay, so it's over here, and we are. Well, we. I think we are like over here. Yeah. Oh, there is actually a path to go. But yeah, that's a long way to go. And right now, we don't care. We can't even afford to think about it. Eddie, what are you doing? You're building the wall. Let's get rid of that tree as well. It's in the way. But Eddie is, Eddie is working fine. How much do, oh, we have plenty of... Uh, plenty of chunks. You still... Stroke. No. Good. And we have a fire. But it's a thunderstorm and it's usually not that bad if it starts to rain. But sometimes it doesn't start to rain and then we have a problem. One, two, three fires. 
Let's hope it starts to rain. Four fires. We really need it to start raining now, please. I'm pretty sure that there, there we go. It's raining and then we don't have to handle it. The rain will take care of the fires. Visitors. A group from the purple prairie people are visiting the colony. They seem to have a few items to trade. Let's jump to them. Okay. Critical alert, fire. Well, what? Oh! Inside our building. Let's do that. Get everyone to help extinguish the fire. That's kind of top priority. Okay, and then they go back and do what they want. Let's see. Warden, seven, five, two. So it's postman that should talk to these visitors we have and try to negotiate a deal. Yeah, another fire. Postman. Please help extinguish the fire. An electric stove ha has short circuited in the rain and started the fire. Oh, it's because it's outside. Could we turn it off? Does that help? I thought it was a random accident, but obviously not. Turning it off should help out. I hope. The Trudy is... Oh, you have already planted everything. That's good. Postman, please trade. Let's see. We can buy or sell herbal medicine. We can buy pemmican. Pemmican is some kind of uh, traveling food. Wooden club, we can buy that. Nah, I don't really want to. Pila we can buy. No, thank you. And we can sell synf synfred pants. But I don't think there's anything we really want to trade with. Well, we have a lot of... Uh, we have a lot of herbal medicine. We don't need all of that. So let's sell 26 of them and get 172 silver. That's good. And... Edling, maybe you should prioritize falling the silver. Another fire, okay. Trudy is on it. It's outside, so uh, it will be taken care of, though. That's fine. Eddie will build whatever he can. This is the last chunk of uh, stone. And then start hauling, I hope. Well, then, actually, then start cleaning and then hauling. We need to get all of this old. It's not critical, but we want it done as soon as possible. Resting. Of course you have to rest as well. I wasn't thinking about that. Thing. Oh. Once the rain stops, I will have to look at the map to see that all the fires are extinguished. And if they are, the visitors are leaving. Oh! They left you a gift. That's great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh. 
Oh, let's see. Rain have stopped and it's still burning over there. The thing is, technically, that's not close to our home, so we could leave it. But uh, it will expand. Oh, it will expand and get everywhere. So we need to take care of it. And that means we need to send our people over there to extinguish it. I did it in one of my uh, two games. All of a sudden I found out that half of the map was burning. And then it's really hard to handle it. This will be hard as well, but not even close to what it would be otherwise. Let's see, home area, that's fine. They will only extingu extinguish fires within the home area. So we need to make sure that we have a big enough home area to make sure the fire gets properly extinguished. And they will extinguish fires uh, before doing anything else. Eating, no. We are extinguishing a fire. Medical care, no. Not even that, so. Eddie, what are you doing? You're going to build a wall. You're going to rest. Yeah. Okay, let's not do anything else. Oh, let's clear the home area. There are two things, from what I know, that you can use for the home area. One is to extinguish fires. And another one is to uh, clean. And you want to extinguish fires all over the map, but you don't want to clean all over the map. At least that's my idea. Let's see if Trudy can will haul a lot of uh, potatoes. Okay, so... Oh, she has a lot of things to cut down. Yeah, well, not a lot of things, but a few trees to cut down. So she will do that before hauling, which is fair enough. That's what I asked her to do. But still, it's not a bit annoying. Oh, there's repairing needed. Okay. Oh, and we should allow this again to be used. That way we can get a bit more food. And Eddie is repairing and cleaning. Yes, that's what I want you to clean. Well, everything else as well, of course. But that seems to be a really important thing to clean. And cleaning a bit of rock rubble and yeah. They are cleaning a lot of small things. Oh yeah, when you build something, it's automatically added as home area. And uh, what you add, and it's like four tiles outside of that. And then the, they will start cleaning if you have asked them to do that. So it's... They have to do... They have a few things to do to get everything cleaned. Everything clean, I guess. Now you're hauling. That means that I think that everything have been cleaned. But I'm not sure. It might be that you were about to go. No, it's not. Then you were about to go f and grab a meal, and you just for just found out that could haul while you were at it anyway. Okay, so. Now the cleaning is done and we can don't prioritize it. So we don't do that as much anymore. And you go and set all of that. There we go. 
go and hmm, maybe we should all and craft afterwards and then clean so we don't so we get something hauled but we don't and we do get some crafting done but we don't prioritize really to get everything cleaned up yeah that might be a good idea research is going slowly how's the temperature minus four minus three four that's fine five oh and you did you really go up made one meal and then went back to bed you're of course welcome to do it, but I wouldn't. Okay, so I'm almost two hours into this episode. Which is, if you ask me, way too much. But that's the way it is. You please help haul all potatoes Trudy please haul potatoes Eddie I want to get all of the potatoes hauled because Trudy is walking all the way over here and all the way back instead of just going to the fridge Trudy all the potatoes please and then I will let you do what you want the same with daddy I see no reason in forcing them normally but I do want you to uh, hold those things chunks of spacecraft have impacted nearby you can de deconstruct them to yield resources oh Look at that. Fresh, so let's get it. And Eddie, going for a walk. No, you're prioritizing to hold, holding this one. Then we can get this spacecraft deconstructed. Oh, wait, what's that? That's also okay. So that's also possible to hold. One and a half days, 1.8, so Eddie, please prioritize this. And then do this. I don't know, can you? Oh, I didn't mean that, but Trudy did it just the way I would have wanted it to be done. More or less, at least. I thought you couldn't press shift and uh, get another thing to order them to do another thing, and that would work, but uh, apparently not. Please prioritize the construction. Simply because we don't have a lot of, ch uh, of uh, chunks for that, so deconstruct first, and then we can do some building and then we can do a little bit more building at the same time and just the small details there we go oh we have grizzly bear way too close for me to like it these boomalopes they are also quite dangerous oh and we have cougar as well close by Eddie, please go there, and Postman, please go here as well, and Trudy, please go here, actually, Eddie, no, no, the grizzly bear is moving, I want to shoot it, that's the thing, I, well, I don't want to, but I feel that we have to do something about it. It's dangerous to keep it around. Eddie, please go here. 
postman, please go there. And Trudy, that have a knife, please stand in the middle and protect us. If the bear goes all the way up to us and uh, attacks. So hunt this. And now we're going to say fire at Grizzly and fire at Grizzly. And it's actually fleeing, which is fine. I prefer that. Gunshot, no immediate danger. Okay, let's just continue with what you were doing, please. I prefer them fleeing, because then at least they don't attack. And attacking bears? No thank you. That seems like a bad idea. We have the cougar as well. And another bear. They are really close, all of them. Oh! Oh! Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's hunt the grizzly bear. I didn't mean to do it that way, but why not? thing is that the grizzly bear can turn around and start attacking my guy instead and uh, that's kind of dangerous in 12 hours. Maybe we should just stop hunting it. Cancel. So Eddie, you can do something else. And the bear, if everything goes as in here, we don't have to do anything. It will not survive. And then we can hold the meat anyway. And by not continue to shoot it, we don't uh, have this. It's not the same risk to just let it be as it is to actually hunt it. So I think if I leave now, I will forget all about this bear. I might do that anyway, but uh, I think that I will try to Continue until this is dead, and then we will hold the meat, and that would be an episode. Oh, it's bleeding less. Oh, Eddie, please go here. Since the bear is sleeping. Warning grizzly bears have a 10% chance to attack when harmed from rifle range. Chance is higher if close or less with good hunter stealth. Which is kind of... Kind of what I tried to say before. With a bit of stealth it might help out a bit. But since it's sleeping we can sneak up on it. Fire at grizzly bear. And we can see five hours. And we speed up the game a bit. Four hours, three hours, and it sleeps while being shot at. Even when it's hit, it's it continues to sleep. Oh, is it? Moving none. Could we go melee attack grizzly bear to death? I just think that the bear might be able to hurt us if we get that close. Oh, 
Oh, there's something grisly there. Oh, that's what we should have done. There we go. It actually worked out. And a grizzly bear. It have a lot of meat. If I can just find it. Meat amount 90. It's not as much as I thought. I thought it was way more. But yeah, you see, it's way slower to walk on this mud than it is on the normal land. It's not mud, it's it's mud. Okay. Yeah, Trudy. I'm sorry to say, but you have to uh, speed up a bit. We don't have enough meals. Oh, that's true. Of course we don't have enough meals. We don't have power all of the time. 11 degrees, uh, not good. But we have plenty of food now. I'm not that worried about it anymore. I'm more worried about the, uh, the theory rating of the food. But anyway, mad hair. Okay, let's handle that. Local hair has gone mad. It will attack everyone it sees. Let's jump to that. Okay. In the middle of everything. You please go here. You go here. And you let you go. You go here. And Eddie, you go here. There. That way we should be able to, I hope, to lure the uh, hair away. Oh, come on. Go here. Trudy, Trudy, Trudy. Run. Run. There we go. And what happened to you? Bite from hair teeth, head, torso, and right big toe. No immediate danger, but let's do a hospital bed anyway. This we could uh, allow. And let's get everyone to do their stuff. Eddie, maybe you should haul the hair instead. And postman, I think you're the doctor. Let's check it. No, Eddie is the doctor. Okay. So, as soon as the hair is hauled, you will tend to Trudy. Great! And it will take Trudy a bit of time to get back, but not too much. It's pretty... 91%. It's pretty small things, I think. A little bit of pain and moving is weakened, but... Not worse than that. Repairing wooden wall. Let's instead prioritize hauling cloth. Oh well. I should really stop. Will I stop? Yes. When will I stop? I don't know. Let's shrink this zone like that. Eddie, please prioritize hauling. And let's expand this zone. Oh, expand zone like that and that. And Eddie, please prioritize hauling. Venison has rotted away in storage. That's not good. More venison. Okay. Can't do anything about it. We're doing what we can, which is the research. And in the meantime, we just have to accept that that will happen from time to time. But has hauling. And priority has hauling. And that should be the last of it. What I did 
here. Some big animal. I think I heard. I think I heard a bear. What were you doing? I see nothing close to that. But we also have a cougar. Nope. Anything else? No, not really. We do have a mega sloth. That's an interesting animal. It have a great long fur that's great to make closer. But I will not prioritize that right now. And that he does what he wants now. And Postman as well. Trudy, there's no problems with her at all. I mean, she will be in bed for a day or something and then she's fine. But anyway, that have to be it. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.